Hey everybody, Caitlin here from The Bob and Weave. Today I'll be sewing a new pattern by Oliver Hart Designs. This is the Vizzy Convertible Crossbody and it can also be worn as a backpack so it makes it very versatile. This is actually the fourth bag of this pattern I've made and I'm using the first one I made as my everyday purse and I love it so much. I have a link for the pattern in the description box below, so go check it out. So I'm starting with the strap first because it's my least favorite part of any pattern, so I thought I'd go ahead and get it out of the way. So I'm using vinyl for all of the exterior pieces plus the flap interior piece, and I'm using this new vinyl I got the other day at Hobby Lobby. And it feels like a super nice um, vinyl, so I can't wait to see how it holds up. And all of the interior pieces, I'm using waterproof canvas. And the only piece that I interfaced or stabilized is the exterior bottom piece, and I used Decoville Heavy for that. So now that I've got the strap done, I'm just checking to make sure I have all the pieces and I didn't do a very good job because I realized that I was missing a connector piece later down the road, but that's another story. So now I'm just getting the magnetic snap pieces together so I can place that on the flap. And then I realized that I did not put my name tag on yet, so that's what I'm doing here. And now I am sewing the flat pieces together.
So now I've gotten the D-ring connectors and now the handle sewn up. And I finally realized that I was missing a connector piece, so I had to go and cut that. And now it's time to put the flap and all of the D-ring connectors on the back piece of the bag. And now I'm prepping the back band to go over all of the other pieces that we just basted to the back pattern piece. So now I'm just attaching the remaining piece of the magnetic snap to the front pattern piece. If you are following along and sewing with this video, don't forget to put your side magnetic snaps on like I did. And here's where I realized that I did not put the magnetic snaps on the sides like I should have. So I just went and marked on each side and did it with it sewn together, which wasn't a big deal. Um, but it just would have been easier to do it before I sewed up the sides.
And now I'm just putting on the remaining D-ring connectors to the bottom panel piece on the exterior. Here I am sewing up the remaining piece of the exterior. So I had a little bit of a problem sewing where the D-ring connectors were because the hardware was so thick. I really needed a hump jumper, but I did not have one. So I just uh, did the best I could. So now all of the exterior is finished sewing and I'm just trimming up the bottom pieces so it'll lay nice whenever it's turned right side out. Now it's time to work on all of the interior pieces and I am starting off with the slip pocket. Time to work on the zipper pocket now and this is the way that we will turn the bag right side out whenever it's all sewn together.
I'm just marking my seam allowances on the bottom panel piece just to make sure that I don't go past where I'm not supposed to sew. And now it's time to assemble all of our interior pieces. So make sure that your zipper is open before you sew everything together just to make sure that you can get it turned the right way out. Now that we have the interior and the exterior sewn together, it's time to turn the bag the right way out. And I went ahead and made sure that everything looked good. And then I turned the bag inside out to sew or to top stitch. Now I'm closing up the zipper pocket and then I will turn the bag the right way out. I just think that this is the cutest bag that anyone of any age would be able to carry. I hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to go check out this pattern.